Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question here, which is given to us, the question tells us that we need to select two numbers or we need to find how many ways are there of selecting two numbers, A and B. From the list of A, which is of even numbers that goes from 2 till 100. And the list B is a list of odd numbers which goes on 1 till 99. So these are the two lists from which we need to select A and B. And we have to find the number of ways for the condition where it is told to me that sum of the two numbers A plus B when it is divided by 23, in how many cases do you get the remainder as two? So we need to find how many ways are there in which sum of A and B when it's divided by 23 remainder is 2. So we need to find how many such numbers are possible here. And the four cases which we have been given here is 186, 54. Third option given to us is 108 and the last option given to us is 260. So we need to figure out which of the following options is the correct one here. Let's solve this question and let's see this so to find the solution for this question first thing i'll do here is we need to divide a plus b by 23 and we should get the remainder as 2. so if i try to convert that verbal statement to a mathematical form i can use the idea that i know which is dividend it's equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so now if I write my entire expression, verbal statement given to you in this expression, dividend is nothing but the number which you are dividing, that is A plus B. Divisor is the number which is getting divided by. So A plus B is getting divided by 23. So 23 into quotient will always be any integer value. So let's take lambda, which I can say it holds any integer value. And the remainder which is given to us here is 2. So I understand A plus B is the expression which is 23 lambda plus 2. Now what I understand from A plus B here is A is the list of even numbers. B is the list of odd numbers. So if I add A and B, even plus odd, that's always going to give you an odd answer. So I understand 23 lambda plus 2 is also an odd number, where I understand 2 is an even number. So from this expression, I can conclude this, that this odd number is equal to 23 into lambda plus even number. So if I need odd is equal to, let's say this is any variable, let's say x, x plus even number, I understand that entire expression x should be odd. So from this, I understand that the product of 23 and lambda should be odd. Here, 23 is also an odd number. So from this expression, I understand that lambda also should be any odd multiple or I should say any odd integer here because we already know lambda is the quotient and quotient is always an integer. So if I understand from this, I understand here that lambda should be any odd integer. And if I take the values of any odd integer here, lambda, I can put that as 1. So if I put lambda as 1, I get a plus b as 23 into 1 plus 2, which is equal to 25. So I get the sum of two numbers should be 25. We need to find, we'll find it later that how many pairs of a and b satisfy that the sum should be 25. I can also take lambda as 3. That will give me a plus b as 23 into 3 plus 2. So 69 plus 2, which is 71. If I put lambda as 5, I get a plus b as 23 into 5 plus 2. 115, 115 plus 2, 117. Then I can also put lambda as 7. 
that gives you a plus b as 23 into 7 plus 2. So 7 3s are 21. So 2 carry 7 2s are 14, 16. We get it 163. Now if I put lambda as 9, see, a plus b turns out 23 into 9 plus 2. So 23 into 9, 9 threes are 27, 2 carry, 9 to 18, and 20. So 207 plus 2, which is 209. So from here, when I'm putting lambda as 9, I get a plus b as 209. But if I just find the sum of a and b with the highest numbers also, the maximum value I understand for a plus b is going to become 199. So I cannot have more values than 199 for the sum a plus b. So I cannot have lambda as 9 and all the further values of lambda. So we need to just figure out for these four values of lambda, how many pairs satisfy us to give us sum as 25, 71, 117 and 162. So let's figure out. If I want to find out a plus b to become 25, first case, so there are four cases we need to figure out how many pairs are there to satisfy this. A, it starts from 2. B, the value of B in this case, when if I put A as 2 is 23. So 2 plus 23 is one such pair. And if I put minimum value for B, B is 1. So the maximum value of A I get here is, should be 24. So I need to find out how many pairs of Numbers are there from 2 to 24, or I can also find all how many pairs are there from 1 to 23. So I, if I find out how many pairs of numbers are there for case 1 where the sum needs to become 25. So A goes from 2 to 24. So it is 2, 4, 6, 8 till 24. All the values of A. So last term is 24 and the first term is 2. And if I see your difference between the consecutive terms is 2, which is a constant value. And when the difference is constant value, it is an arithmetic progression. With the arithmetic progression, we know last term is a plus n minus 20. So from here, I understand 24 is 2 plus n minus 1. The difference is 2. So 22 by 2, 11 is n minus 1. n is 11 plus 1. 12. So I get... 12 values of A are possible. So with that, 12 values of B will also be possible to make the sum 25. So from the first case, I get 12 pairs of A and B are possible. So with the first case, I get A and B can have 12 pairs possible where the sum turns up 25. Now if I find out the other case, case 2, where the sum A plus B should turn out 71. So when I want the sum to become 71 with lambda equal to 3, I can again have the minimum value of A, 2, maximum value of B becomes 69. And if I take the minimum value for B, that is 1, the maximum value of A turns out to become 70. So I understand now A goes from 2 to 70. Let's find out all the values of A from 2 to 70. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then 70. Here we have last term again. 70, first term is 2, and the common difference between the consecutive terms is again a constant value. So it's arithmetic progression again. Once it's arithmetic progression, again I can apply the idea in the term is equal to first term plus n minus 1. The difference is 2. So 68 by 2 is n minus 1. So I get n minus 1 is 34. So n is 34 plus 1. So I understand your 35 terms are there in the second case. So 35 pairs of A and B are present for the case 2 where the sum of A and B terms are to become 70. Now let's find the third case. So case 3 where A plus B is given to us as 117. If I now figure out how many pairs of terms gives us 117 here, let's do that. So here I understand the minimum value if I put in this case A as 2, B becomes 115 
but B does not have the maximum value 150. The maximum value for B I have here is 99. So if I put B as 99, let's see now what I get. So if I put it 99 here, which is the maximum value for B, I understand the value for A in that case becomes 117 minus 99, which is 80. So A starts from 18 onwards. And if I put B as the minimum value, which is 1, A comes out to become 116. But 116 is also not the maximum value in set A. So set A has maximum value of 100. And 100 comes when B becomes 70. So I understand the list of A now goes from 18 to 100. So if I talk about the list of terms going from 18 to 100 here, and the common difference is two between each consecutive terms. Again, an arithmetic progression. Again, if I use the idea, last term is first term plus n minus one times the difference. So this gives you 82 by two is equal to n minus one. n minus one becomes 41 and n makes it 40. So in the third case, when the sum of the two has to become 170, I understand that the pairs of A and B that satisfy this expression are 42 pairs in this case. Fourth case, if I take it, when the sum becomes with the lambda equal to 7, so sum was in this case 160. So I get this as 163. Sum of that, I need to make it 163 again. So again, if I put minimum value of A, that is 2, I get this B becoming 161. But this is out of the range for the list of B. So if I take maximum value of B, that is 99. 163 minus 99, that gives you 65. Not 65, it should be 64 here. 64. This is the minimum value of A I can have. Again, for minimum value of B, if I take 1, this becomes 162, which is out of the range for list A as well. So this also gets cancelled out. If I take maximum value for A, 100, the minimum value here becomes 60. So I understand this idea again, that A goes from 64 to 100 here. If I find out how many pairs of A are there here, when it is going from 64 to 100, 64, 66, 68, this goes on to 100. So the last term in this case, again, that's an arithmetic progression. Last term being 100 falls to be 64, N minus 1. Common difference is 2. So 36 by 2 is n minus 1. So n minus 1 is 18, 18 plus 1, 18. So with this, in this fourth case, I get it that A and B, how many pairs of A and B are possible here with the case? That is 19. So 19 pairs are possible, but the sum becomes 160. I hope you have understood this, how to solve this type of questions. So if I just figure out how many total pairs of A and B are possible for the two four cases that we have. The first case we have here as 12 pairs, 35, 42, and 90. So if I add them all, I get 108 pairs of A and B are possible with the sum A plus B when it's divided by 23, I'll get the remainder as I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So first we use this idea, figured out this, we also figured out 23 into lambda should be odd. That told us lambda should be any odd integer. We put some odd integers, we got four odd integers of lambda where we have this sum becoming less than 199. And then we just figured out the number of pairs of A and B which satisfy all the four cases. That comes out to become 199. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other questions from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of these questions on 11, 12 as well as JWT. And if I talk about the option that matches here with the question, that is options. So stay tuned for the videos that are going to come henceforth. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of Jira Thank you.